In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to make a rainbow using a garden hose and a fiber nozzle. We're also going to look at some of the optical properties that make it possible to see a rainbow, including a giant fake raindrop. I think you'll find this interesting. This is the uh, fogging nozzle I used. I'll provide a link in the description. Okay, it's about 9.46 in the morning. Right now we got full sun. Very easy to make a rainbow. With a foggy misting nozzle. About a half a gallon per minute. Drop of size probably makes a difference, but this is the one I happen to have. Um, works very well. Uh, you can follow this on down, and you'll notice, other than where my shadow is, the rainbows makes a complete circle. Another interesting thing is, the sun is to my back, relatively low in the sky because it's in the morning. And now if I turn around, start going this way, you'll notice I leave it behind because the sun's got to hit the droplets at the right angle relative to you. So as I go all the way around, no rainbow, no rainbow, no rainbow. We're, we're facing east now, the direction the sun's coming up in. No rainbow, no rainbow, no rainbow. Oh, there it is. Back with my back to the east. So the sun's behind me. This works very well. Okay, we're going to take a, a quick look at a, at a what I call a large fake raindrop, and I'll show you that here in just a minute. This is my uh, giant raindrop uh, model. It's simply a four inch diameter plastic uh, water filled snow globe. I purchased off Amazon a few months ago for another experiment. It's got a cap on it. You can use it to fill water. I'm filling it underwater, I was able to get most of the bubbles out, just a couple small ones in there. But I just want to show how, this is just a white uh, presentation board. If I shine this flashlight, this LED flashlight, so it's not really representative of what white sunlight would be. But you can see there's no real refraction, no colors forming like this. Now if I change hands, and shine the light at uh, various angles, you'll be able to see a uh, pattern forming. There we go. Let's see if we can get that. Got to get it just right where we can show the angles or, or show the uh, rainbow pattern you can get. There it is, okay. Now it, ch it changes depending on how far it is, but you'll notice the light is, is over here in my left hand, hitting a globe. It's refracting inside the globe, bouncing off the interior walls of the globe, reflecting back out, making a curved pattern, rainbow pattern, basically, on this presentation board. You can see it's got basically all the colors, uh, blue, yellow, green, red. Um, Pretty neat, but this is just a way to kind of show what, uh, imagine this was a small raindrop with sunlight hitting it, and that's basically um, what's going on there. It's refracting and reflecting off the inside of the, of the droplet and uh, coming back at you because that's why you stand with the sun behind you. That's the only way you're going to see it. In the right conditions, you can get a double reflection in there and get a, a double rainbow. But uh, you can almost see that here, but not exactly. So anyway, that just shows how you can demonstrate this effect with uh, something like a simple 4-inch uh, water-filled snow globe. So I can see all the colors of a rainbow. I happen to notice that in one of my videos, I could actually see a double rainbow. Um, this happens when you get a double reflection in the raindrops, but it's a different angle. That's why it it's appears out at a away from the 
inner arc. It's usually on the outer part of it. And the color pattern's reversed because it reflected twice in the, uh, in the droplets. Very interesting. I thought you would enjoy seeing this. Okay, right now, clear sky. It's about 12.14 this afternoon. You'll notice I'm at about the same spot. See the bow pattern? It actually goes all the way around me. I'm in the middle of the circle. So, right now, the sun's kind of at my back, but I can't really look at the sun with the camera. But, uh, big difference in that pattern because normally, with an actual, you know, clouds, you are uh, mist in the air on a regular real rainbow, you would only be able to see something in the middle of the day if you're like up in an airplane or on a mountain looking down at it. Because you're not going to see that off over there somewhere like we did this morning when the sun was at a shallow angle. Very interesting stuff with these rainbows. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like the video, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and uh, check out our other links to our other videos. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much.